What's up guys, this is Paco MNL back with another video review. Today I have not one, not two, but three of Techware's new Phantom RGB backlit mechanical gaming keyboards. In this video, I will be testing all three variants of the Phantom RGB keyboard, namely the Utemu Blue, Red, and Brown switch types. The original Phantom non-RGB version was a very popular choice among budget gaming enthusiasts, and it delivered excellent performance especially for its extremely competitive price. Nowadays, the mechanical keyboard market is more competitive than ever, with new and cheaper models coming out left and right. That said, it is now more important than ever to keep an eye out for models that stand out from the rest. At first glance, the new Techware Phantom RGB keyboard complete with software priced at 2,100 pesos or under $40 looks like the one to beat right now. Let's take a closer look at the box and the keyboard itself and find out how it looks, how it sounds, and how it performs by putting it to the test. They say that first impressions last, and Techware's latest offering makes a pretty damn good one. Just one look at the package and you'll know Techware means business with this new product. I'm very picky when it comes to aspects of design, right down to the font type used. I try to pay attention to things that most consumers tend to take for granted. And let me tell you that this design is spot on. It's minimal, sleek, and professional looking, but at the same time, it's bold enough to stand out from the multitudes of budget mechanical gaming keyboards out on the market right now. At first glance, it's not really apparent that this is targeted for budget conscious gaming enthusiasts, and I think that's a good trait in an affordable product like this. When I first saw this box, it immediately gave off the impression that this is a premium product, and made me excited to open it and try the keyboard out. At the back of the box, as per usual, you'll find all the keyboard's noteworthy features and specifications. What's different is that all the main features of the keyboard are actually illustrated, and it even shows what the full keyboard layout looks like when it's illuminated. I think that's great attention to detail, and when you're trying to make an educated decision on buying a product, it's vital to see everything you need to know on the box. When opening the box, you'll find the keyboard neatly contained in a protective wrap. When you lift the keyboard, you'll find a quick start instruction manual that tells you how to use the keyboard's special functions, and how to configure the RGB lighting modes. The package also comes with four spare mechanical switches, a keycap puller, and a switch puller. It is not very common for mechanical keyboards to come bundled with spare mechanical switches and pullers, so right off the bat, you know you're getting your money's worth. When taking the keyboard out of the box, you'll find the 1.8 meter braided, gold-plated USB 2.0 cable hidden in its own compartment. When I first saw the keyboard with my own eye, it looked just how I imagined it to. Really, really clean and minimalist. That's definitely a big plus in my book. One thing that stood out for me is that you won't find the Techware logo on the front of the keyboard. I truly believe that less is more when it comes to design, and I feel that Techware chose to do this because they wanted the product to speak for itself. Like most popular keyboards today, the Techware Phantom RGB mechanical keyboard features a bezel-free design that showcases the mechanical switches on the board. This is my preferred design, and I honestly can't see myself buying or using a keyboard that isn't bezel-free. The bezel-free body also looks great with a comfortable and durable Techware wrist pad, which you can purchase separately. It's just personal taste really, and of course there's nothing wrong if you're not a fan of the bezel-free design. The Techware Phantom RGB's exact dimensions are... 444.5 by 133.5 by 22.3 millimeters, and an approximate weight of 1140 grams. That's an impressive weight and is heavier than most keyboards out there. This, in turn, makes the keyboard itself sturdier and more durable. In fact, that's a standout selling point that I noticed when I held this board in my hands for the first time. No matter how hard I tried to flex the board, it wouldn't give, and that's definitely a good thing. You want a board that can last you a long time, despite frequent intense gaming sessions. And I can tell you with the utmost certainty that this board will last. The keyboard's backplate is made out of a strong metal alloy with a matte finish. Underneath the mechanical keyboard, you'll find four rubber pads that keep the board from moving around, and plastic feet to raise the board at a fixed angle, as well as a convenient cable routing system which I think should be standard in every keyboard on the market. Behind the board, you'll find the puller in its own compartment which is built into the keyboard body itself. Now you have no excuse if you misplace the puller. The back of the board is the only place you'll see the Techware logo and model name. Again, I'm a big fan of that design choice. I only have one tiny issue with this keyboard so far. I think that the font choice on the double shot ABS keycaps could have been better. I mean, it's not bad, but I prefer a cleaner looking font. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it, and this is just me nitpicking. It still is easy to see the letters and numbers despite the keyboard being unplugged. 
Now that we've done a quick overview of the keyboard's appearance when unplugged, let's try it out and see how it performs. Despite the board not featuring my favorite Gateron mechanical switches, the Utemu switches on this thing felt really smooth and satisfying to type on. Which, by the way, is fully modular, so you can choose to swap switches if you desire. Utemu switches are the closest clone to Cherry MX switches. That said, keyboards using Utemu switches are often extremely affordable, yet still provide an extremely comparable experience to more expensive models. To my ear, Utemu sounds a tad bit quieter than Cherry MX and Gateron, so if you're a fan of that, this is a good choice for you. The keycaps were held in place rather well and did not wiggle despite typing intensely on TypeRacer. Here's me bragging about my 102 words per minute typing speed using this keyboard, and that's completely useless information. Anyway, moving on. Utemu Blue switches have a tactile peak force of 63 grams and an actuation force of 46 grams, a bottom out force of 60 grams and a spring force of 60 grams. Overall travel distance is 4 millimeters, tactile event is 2 millimeters, and an actuation point of 2.7 millimeters. Now for the Utemu Red Switch. The Utemu Red Switch is a relatively smooth linear switch, much firmer and with more total actuation force required than the Cherry MX Red Switch. This makes the Utemu Red almost a lighter, less steep version of the Cherry MX Black Switch. It has an actuation force of 47 grams, a bottom out force of 61 grams, spring force of 61 grams, overall travel distance of 4 millimeters, and an actuation point of 2.1 millimeters. Last but not the least is the Utemu Brown Switch. The brown switch is extremely smooth and pleasant to type with, with very light bumps and reliable key presses. The build quality is great and the only seriously noticeable friction is found upon bottoming out, which is not an encouraged practice to begin with. The bump and following valley are approximately equal in height and length. The actuation is just a tad bit after 2mm, which makes it take place a little after cherry switches requiring just a bit more overall force to operate. It has a tactile peak force of 54 grams, an actuation force of 40 grams, a bottom out force of 60 grams, and a spring force of 60 grams as well. Overall travel distance is 4 millimeters, tactile event is 1.2 millimeters, and the actuation point is 2.1 millimeters. Now that you know the specifications of each switch, it's time to hear how they sound. I'm sure you noticed that the blue switches are the clickiest and loudest of the three, with brown being the second loudest but significantly quieter, and the red being the most quiet of the three switches. Though red and brown sound very similar, they feel quite different. Blue as always has that clicky tactile feel that I know and love all too well, while brown still has that tactile feel but is significantly quieter, while red is rather soft to the touch and is probably the keyboard I'd use for streaming, as the keyboard noise won't be picked up by the microphone that much. Now that you know how the keyboard looks, how it performs and how it sounds, it's time to take a look at the board's RGB lighting when it's plugged in. The Techware Phantom's RGB lighting is excellent. It's bright and vibrant. I'm happy to report that there is no chromatic aberration whatsoever. Chromatic aberration is the material effect produced by the refraction of different wavelengths, of electromagnetic radiation resulting in flickering eye straining color artifacts. This issue is commonly found in most budget mechanical keyboards that feature RGB lighting. Fortunately, the Techware Phantom does not have this issue. The Phantom's LED is an SMD LED module, or surface mount device light emitting diode module. This is a type of LED module that uses surface mount technology to mount LED chips on printed circuit boards. It is a self-contained surface mount LED device. 
SMD LED modules are widely used in LED lamps, for backlighting, home illumination, shop windows, automobile interior lighting, Christmas lights, and numerous lighting applications. The Techware Phantom RGB mechanical keyboard features 20 different RGB lighting modes that sports the full 16.8 million color range, 5 lighting intensity levels, and 5 speed modes. All of these can be configured directly on the keyboard itself, but you can opt to download the Techware Phantom RGB configurator software for better control. The user interface is very straightforward as expected and very simple to use so I'm sure you won't have any problems with it. I'd like to highlight the fact that this keyboard software is currently in beta state, so it's subject to changes and will improve further in the near future. Although I'd like to note that a budget mechanical keyboard with software is very impressive, and we don't get to see a lot of that, so that's a big plus. Now that you've seen everything there is to see about this keyboard, what's my verdict? The Techware Phantom is an even better keyboard than its predecessor, with a sleeker design and added 16.8 million color RGB software control functionality. This is definitely the keyboard to beat in this price range. It definitely delivers exceptional performance at a very low cost of 2,100 pesos or 40 US dollars. Unlike most keyboards, it provides the consumer with great value as it includes keycap and switch pullers, extra switches in case something goes wrong, and features features modular mechanical switches as well. It's packed with all the features you need on a modern mechanical gaming keyboard, and I highly recommend this new product from Techware. Color me impressed. It's great to see companies coming out with quality products at very competitive prices. I respect companies like Techware because they are in the business of providing real value to the consumer, and other companies should follow their example. There you have it guys, my unboxing and review of the new Techware Phantom RGB mechanical keyboard. Like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video to be informative. As always, I am your host, Paco Emanel, and I'll catch you in a future video.